All right, we're going to be playing Polybius. Not the Polybius, but uh, this is the PS4 game. I guess they're playing off of the name Polybius. Oh, uh, they must be, unless uh, you it's know. a total coincidence, but I would doubt it. I, I doubt it. I, I, you know, so we'll, we'll see what the game is. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a shot. James oh, yeah. is going to get it going. Yeah. yeah okay. so I mean, oh, there's a, a cow. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the ground. I don't so do you have to I go through go. those things? I don't know which one. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Whoa, okay. it's oh, did, you get, did you just get a pill? Um, that looks like a pill. I feel like I'm moving. I mean, like... <laughs> You feel like you're moving? It's like you're, the car virtual, is moving. Like virtual reality. Like uh, I, I feel like I'm <laughs> moving. I don't know how. You feel like you're in the that. car? Yeah, I feel like I'm there. More so than like F Zero? Um, yeah, this is like, <laughs> wow. Like, I don't know why, but it's like really. Um, oh, oh my god. It's playing with my senses. Two shields left. I, I, guess, I guess if it was called. Anything called Polybius should play with your senses. That's right. There's UFOs in the sky. So. Oh no, they're like I'm bombs crashing I'm playing with all the buttons here. The only one, I, it's pretty much just the joystick and the fire button. There, there's nothing more to it, I think. Right. Um, unless I'm missing something, but I don't Whoa. quite have the time to test. You have one shield left. I guess you, oh, you have to shoot that stuff out of the way. Yeah, I was just trying to see what the other buttons do. All right, nothing. I think it's just fire, um, just joystick and fire. That's pretty cool. So it's like basic arcade. Yeah. Know? I wonder if they were trying to put, they were trying to put over that this was like like Polybius as though it would have come out maybe. Yeah, like that that's what it seems like or more more like or somebody's interpretation of what it might have been like. Yeah, I mean a lot of people have done stuff like that, but this one seems a little bit more like a modernized take on it. Right. Or you know how they always do like like modern remakes of games. Mm -hmm. Like imagine if Polybius oh. came out in the arcade, this would be the this would be the modern, the modern remake, remake of the arcade so game that didn't might, exist. You might not be able to play the original, but you can play the modern remake. Right. <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes that I've done, the Polybius one. Yeah. That was good. Because uh, it felt like making a horror film, which is what I want to do. So yeah. it uh, definitely satisfied some of those urges. And uh, I hope it's a precursor for things to come. I hope I can make a full-length horror film or well, something like that. It's interesting because, uh, you know, uh, we talk about all the time in these videos, we talk about back in college, we did this, you know, mm. and, and, and all that. When I knew you back then, uh, prior to Angry Video Game Nerd, mm -hmm. the thing I, I felt like you wanted to do was make, uh, I wouldn't just say a horror film, but um, definitely but one of the top genres. Yeah, yeah, I think of you. I think of more like uh, like comedy or, or horror, like like mm -hmm. maybe like a horror comedy. Like I could have imagined yeah. back then you making like a horror comedy. Even movie. with the most serious horror films, a lot of times I find like there's like a touch of humor to it. Sure. Like Hitchcock would have sort of like a, a touch of dark humor to every film he did. That's true. Like Psycho, like he even sort of thought of it as a comedy a little bit. Yeah. Um. That, yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah. I mean, think of like Nightmare on Elm Street. Like that's one of the f famous you know horror mm -hmm. movies, and that's got a lot of humor to it with Freddy. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think there's there's funny moments in Halloween, are there not? Oh, um... Like some? Um, yeah, there's a few, I'm, sh I'm sure. Yeah. One that comes to mind is when Dr. Loomis scares the kid in the bushes, like... Like, it's, it's kind of out of character, just like for once he... He lets loose just for a bit to have a little fun. Right, yeah, <laughs> that is a funny, funny moment. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, you don't mean like full fledged comedy. Yeah, I mean, more Will like. Will Ferrell. Um, like, yeah, like more like where the, the, the horror that happens is something so tragic and uh, s such bad luck that you almost have to laugh at it. Like something something goes down terribly in a very ironic sort of way. Are the characters almost like trying to let, like, let loose a little bit or something like that mm -hmm. to, to deal with, to cope with the situation? <clears throat> there could be comedy relief, but then there could be like an underlying humorous tone to it. Right. A lot of horror movies have that like comedy relief character too mm -hmm. that they throw in. But um... So I, I'm really addicted to this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah, I can see that. You, you seem very entranced over there. <laughs> they definitely hit the right tone. I'm What's a... with the cows? 
I don't know. I think it's just like anything. It's <laughs> it's Polybius. Like, what the fuck is it? You know like, what this? What I feel like this. And you know, you know what's? Actually, I was just gonna say something, but I realized that mm -hmm. there there were little icons, and I'll show you when they come up. Okay. But this reminds me of something like that would have been a ride in Epcot Center. Like it's this seems very futuristic, and it seems like you're traveling through something, like you'd be on a ride. <clears throat> and I even saw like little Epcot Center looking things. Uh -huh. If they come up again, I'll sh I'll show you. But uh, that's what's in my mind. Or. It's like something in, in your brain, like like a dr like a dream, or like if you were traveling through somebody's brain or something. I, I don't know how to exactly explain this, but uh -huh. um, uh, it definitely seems futuristic. Maybe something like out of Tron, like if Tron, if you had a dream about Tron, like maybe this uh -huh. would be it. There's that the, 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 these things. I was thinking like the spaceship Earth. Yeah. So when did you first hear about Polybius? Um, I saw. Um, you know, very similar to like the, uh, not the same time, but very similar to the whole E.T. thing. Mm -hmm. It was like you would read articles online. The E.T. thing I had heard about um, back when we were in college. There you go. There I go again. But um, the uh, Polybius thing, it wasn't until like, like later. I want to say like maybe 2000 nine or something like that like roughly um really? I, I probably saw some articles about it but i didn't really like look into it just like you know you, you see those like like a lot of like um click baby kind of articles uh -huh. online where it's like you know they try to like get your attention yeah. or whatever they click so it like gaming blo it. gaming blogs and stuff yeah. like that it might not have been quite that early uh -huh. but well, uh, I, mean, I know the legend it was supposed to have started in the 80s but I didn't know about we, it back we then. We don't have any evidence that it was actually talked about in the 80s. Like the earliest known, I think, was like the Game Pro article. Um, yeah. Maybe there's something before that, but it was like, it was something that happened more recent, um, but nobody can really prove or disprove it, you know? I, I didn't hear about it till 2017, I don't think, or 2000, yeah, I think I was at, I was at a convention and a fan brought me some artwork and uh, he, he basically did like a, a Polybius artwork um, mm -hmm. that he gave me. And uh, that was when I first heard of it. And then I started um, looking into it. I was like, well, this might be a good Halloween episode. Cause I, I just did Berenstain Bears. And I was like, all right, well, every time I think I'm out of Halloween episodes, Halloween ideas, I get another idea. So like Polybius, I could do something with this. Then I found out that tons of people already did like review type things, but have also done like dramatic type of stuff. Like sure. there, there was this one, um, I, I can't remember the name of it. There was a uh, like a short film on Hulu that was like all about um, Polybius and there's like a monster in the machine. And you know, it's pretty much what I, it's something like what I would have done. So then I was like, well, let me do something different. So the only thing that hadn't been done is sort of like a, um, a webcast of somebody actually uh, playing the game like in a vlog style and right. making it like a found footage type horror film. So I started working on it. Um, and I was working on it in like, I'm gonna say August, I started writing down notes. And then uh, at some point while I was almost done with the script, I got a text message. Uh, somebody said, hey, look at this video that just went up today. And it was the Ahoy uh, documentary, which was right. amazing. It was like History Channel worthy. <laughs> and it, it was like over an hour long, and it was like every last detail about Polybius. I'm like, oh, that's weird. I mean, it's a documentary. It's different than what I'm doing. But I was like, wow, like all of a sudden, like people are talking about Polybius just out of coincidence. And then there was like this podcast that started like right after that. And I'm working on the episode, by the way. I'm like editing it at this point. And there's all this Polybius stuff going on. The day the episode aired, or like close to it, yeah. there was an episode of the Goldbergs that had Polybius. Oh my God. And it was just like nonstop Polybius stuff just happening out of nowhere. That's funny. So for some reason, this game, which which you say you heard about back in 2009. Uh, that, that was just a rough estimate. Now, now, something like now that. Now that we mentioned it, I think I remember where I first heard of it. Actually, it was on The Simpsons. And I didn't like. I wasn't watching There's that little reference. Yeah, there. I wasn't watching The Simpsons like live mm -hmm. when that happened. But I remember like right after that happened, a lot of people were sharing the images because it's like an arcade game. And like I think I feel like somebody sent it to me on Facebook or something like that. Um, but I think I think it might have been that that. And then I think people were talking about it because of The Simpsons. And then mm -hmm. then there was like 
articles and blogs and things like that. And I remember seeing some kind of blog like a long time ago about Polybius and then all this, like you said, all these like things start happening and people like wondering more and more and more about uh, mm. about Polybius. And uh, I would have told you about it earlier, but I had no idea that you would have been so interested in it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like I said, there's probably things out there right now, stories and stuff that like I yeah. Let me know because you know. uh, for, for whatever reason, uh, just the bottom line was that 2017 was the year of Polybius for some reason. Right now, I'm trying to remember. I think I think when the Nerd series first started, like back when you're doing like TMNT mm -hmm. and all that, um, is when I, I told you about ET, the whole landfill thing, which is weird to me because I remember you and I in college used to watch those Atari commercials, and that was definitely in college. Uh -huh, yeah. I, it's I weird, it's weird to me that me I would about the landfill until, um, until the, after the nerd. It yeah, was like it was first, like our the series was it, already going. Yeah, it, it was 2006, I think, when you told yeah. me about it, it's because the videos were on YouTube already. And by the way, I don't mean to hog it, you can play it now. Oh yeah, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, um, this is really fun, actually. I don't know why I didn't tell you, I just, for whatever reason, I guess I just didn't tell you uh, in, in college e. about it. Yeah, about E.T. I, oh, I figured well, I would have told well, either you. either way, it took eight years to make the movie, so well, it's not yeah, like, I, I guess that's it's true. It's not like, uh, you know, it's not like you delayed me at all. Yeah, I guess because there was like really nothing to show with it. Like the Atari commercials were like, I, you could watch it and they were like funny. It was more like, uh, like I, I think it was because there was a request for E.T. and you were like, hey, this would be a good um, episode. Like E.T. is a big request and you told me a little more about it. And then I was like, wait, what this landfill story, this sounds like it could be uh, the movie. Right. Uh, this this should be the movie because this this story about like going to find this like hidden stash of games, it's a treasure hunt and it has tie-ins with Roswell and you could play with it and put all kinds of alien conspiracies in it, whatever. Right. And then um, uh, Kevin, I was talking to him and we were already, well, for the way I remember it, we were already talking about making the movie. And then I say, well, I have this idea for E.T., although I was thinking about holding it off for my 100th nerd episode. Right. But what do you think about doing it as the movie? And when I told him the story, that's when I knew. Because the way he responded to it, he was like, that is perfect. James, you got to do... Like, oh, I didn't know you were already like thinking to make a movie prior to knowing about E.T. I thought yeah. you, you heard well, the story was, and then you were like, oh, that could be a good movie. Uh, oh, Kevin remembers it that started from a brainstorming session over nerd episodes, but I don't remember brainstorming with him on the episodes. I remember right. the conversation being about making a movie right. and then E.T. came up. That um, seems more... Because I think the first, yeah. the very first idea of it was sort of more like a Revenge of the Nerds type you, thing. You know what? It Actually, like, he, he might be right because I remember something right now is that, remember when you did the Back to the Future episode? Yeah. I remember talking to him at that, when, when you did that episode about like episode ideas actually mm. so maybe that so that might be true actually mm. yeah, I don't know, a long time ago to re try to cause, remember because i remember the first iteration of it being like um a revenge of the nerds type thing and then then i came with et i mean either way it's not important like the how it started the only right, thing we yeah, both, the only thing we all know is that a phone that we had a phone call and and when i brought up et to kevin he was like that's got to be the movie like that's perfect right you know? and, and it was it was the best idea you know uh, to do to take it in that like go full conspiracy with it and make a, make a whole uh, you know a whole bunch of twists. You know it. you know what I thought was funny that I remember Kevin saying back mm -hmm. then in 2006 when the, he go, he goes James you're the voice of our generation. I actually remember that too. <laughs> remember, I, I remembered <laughs> that that exact quote. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was there when he said that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, we were actually in the room where you did like uh, you know TMNT and Power Glove and, and all that. Yeah, like like he was starting to grasp what it is. Yeah, like, we, I don't think he knew about it before that. Isn't I'm it weird to sure. think back to that now? Like explain like explaining to your friends like oh this yeah. is this thing. Like, yeah, hey, I just started doing these videos. Why don't yeah. you check it out? You know, <laughs> and then right away like he, he you know that was he said that very early like you're the voice of a generation yeah it's funny yeah he, even like uh my cousin i remember i showed him the top gun episode when it was like brand new and he was like oh yeah i remember this oh that landing that plane that was such a big right. and then the, sure. the 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 fueling part he's like oh yeah this part too this was also ridiculous yeah. well it's, it's it's something relatable and uh yeah. i think i've said this to you before but shit charles people used to ask charles schultz why they he thought um Charlie Brown was so relatable and he would always try to put in ideas 
into this comics that were relatable to the audience and he, mm -hmm. he was I think his answer was like relatability so mm -hmm. relatability might largely be key to success with a lot of things it's true yeah oh I see this is the tunnel I made it to I didn't I didn't even remember that there was like a break in there it's good that they give you a break for yeah. a second look at, look at this look at this background look at this game look at yeah, this it's crazy it's so like neon, uh, how would you even describe it? It's, be um, it's beyond neon. It's trance-inducing. Trance-inducing. Yeah. It almost seems like a virtual reality. Um, I don't even know, I, I'm trying to find words to describe it, but I really can't. Mm -hmm. And this part is sort of like a Tempest where you're traveling down a, a thing, a thing shooting towards you. And I mean, the, the, the gameplay here couldn't be more simple, but it's, it's good. It's art, you know. It's like arcade style. I could imagine this have been, being an arcade game. Actually, somebody should put this in an arcade machine with a um, with a joystick. Yeah, it'd be cool. Shit. Oh man, I haven't made it past this red red tunnel. But this is a. I don't know. I like this. I, th yeah, I think I, it's I a good really game. Do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, let's keep playing it. Yeah, you want to play again? All right. Yeah. See if you can make it past that red tunnel. Yeah. There's a lot of information on the screen, but I haven't. I've been, I've been so um, focused on I'm just shooting stuff. Yeah, the, like I'm just looking right at the vanishing point. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is vanishing. Oh, Shoot right. cows for bonuses. I'll try to read the text. Love, lovely. Lovely. Of your mind. Yeah. One shield left. Bonus 8,000. Uh, one more hit, he'll be dead. I wonder if going through those gets you your shield back. Some, there's, there is a way to get them back, I believe. Uh huh. I'm just gonna keep trying to get everything I can. There so you I, go. I got one. Oh, okay. maybe? Oh. No, oh, shield's gone still. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Look at this. Boy. Oh boy. Whoa. Uh, you should try again. Yeah, it's, it's hard. <laughs> so there is a multiplier in the top right. So I'm assuming as you shoot things, it will, it, it goes up to increase your score. This is a score based game. It looks like, oh, and another thing I just noticed. So in the top left, you're counting down from 20,000. So I, let's, I'm curious what happens if you get there. So you're at 16 now. Okay. I'll try to figure it out. Maybe that's how you get more shields or something. What what the fuck is going on right now? I don't know, but it's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a super boost. Now the score is like not... Oh, now it's gone. I really want to see see you make eleven thousand more. I wonder what happens. Oh, that might be what it is to get to the next level. Hmm. Maybe it's score. Maybe this just goes until you oh, okay. reach this. That's that's probably what it is. Score makes the level. Uh, yeah, that I maybe. I mean, that's my guess. We'll see. Yeah. What's that now? Eleven thousand more. Seven. Uh. Or something one. Six. Three. Finish the level with a high boost. Oh my god. Whoa, oh my Oh. Oh what look, the hell? You were at three. You were really what? you were really close. Jeez. Ah. Uh, Do you see how crazy that was when everything was just flashing? I know. And there are pill there are pills that drop from the sky and then you shoot them and then things get all warped. Uh, yeah. Like that's literally what's happening. And then you go through the devil horns. <laughs> the devil horns. <laughs> the devil. The devil. <laughs> why are we laughing at the devil? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. We're weird. That's why. There, shoot shoot up God Center. <laughs> <laughs> hey James, the devil. The only thing I remember was we were talking about classic Universal monsters, yeah. and we were like, "Why wasn't the devil one of the characters? <laughs> Just the devil, like a guy in a, in a red, in a red suit devil with a pitchfork." I think we were. We might have been watching that um, uh, Twilight Zone, and oh, there, really? there was like a Twilight Zone with um, with a devil. I don't know if you remember yeah, that one. Yeah, it's called. Uh, 
Not the Burgess Meredith shit. one. No, not that one. I know exactly what one you mean. The, the, oh, I'm like too busy to remember the, the name right now. I, I think that might have been what spawned the competition. The Howling in the Dark? That. Or something, something howling like that. or something. Oh. Yeah. I think I think that's what it is. That might have been what spawned that. But then the other thing we were talking about, and then we got into the conversation about, is you're 6,000 away, by the way. Um, or 65, I guess I should say. Um, it's like other universal monsters mm -hmm. that should have existed. And then we, they were like, well, why wasn't the skeleton? Oh, the skeleton. 4,000 away. That's not, um, the skeleton would be one. And also the witch. The witch. Although, tell you the truth, if we're talking 30s monsters, yeah. not all of them are universal. Jekyll and Hyde. I think it was Paramount. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it was RKO. Kong was RKO. Um, but you know what? 30s witch movie. I, I can definitely say is probably the the most. Um, it's it's the most. Uh, I know what you're gonna say. Like the most classic. Cla say, the, yeah, the classic. The most arc. classic version of the witch. Sure. You know what it is. I know what it is. It's the what Wizard it, of Oz. Yeah, exactly. Right. That was MGM. Well, that's what I was saying. Not not everything's universal. Like like I was talking about thirties. Right. Like okay. Jekyll and Hyde. What wasn't universal? King Kong wasn't universal. What about the it devil? It was later. Though? There was no but, devil movie. Uh, no, but um, the, uh, there was a Black Cat movie. I mean, that was universal. Right. Um, so mo it's fair to say that most classic, like Halloween characters had a movie representation in the 30s. Not all of them, I'm kind of hard pressed to find a, a, a ghost movie from the 30s that would be. Really? What about uh, like uh, Spooks Run Wild and all that kind of stuff? That's like 40s. Oh, is that 40s? And it wouldn't be very classic either. Uh, <laughs> that, oh, like a, it has to be like classic. To... The Uninvited is the earliest I can think of it, but that's 40s. Did you even remember that you were playing the game? You were like no. thinking about all that stuff. Well, it's, it's, it's very like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, what? Oh, 2,000 away. What? Look at that. 20,000. Fuck. Off, but you, that was the closest you were. That part gets totally crazy. I, I guess it's when you get under 50,000 that it's, um, that it gets like really crazy like that. What, what, what did I hit? The, you keep hitting the side of the devil horn. Oh, things. okay. So I just wasn't straight on enough. <laughs> you have to go through yeah, 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 directly in the middle. Yeah, so sometimes if you don't think you're going to make it directly through, it's best to try to get out of the way instead. What's weird now is the countdown thing is like gone, like totally gone. And it, says really? new, it says new best. Oh, okay. So I don't know what the deal with that is. So it's like new best score. Or yeah, but I don't know why it's like not oh, counting shit. down anymore like it was before. Sorry, you are dead. Yeah, no, it still says new best. It starts off like a cow. How far to the side can you go? Can you go off oh, the side? Okay. <laughs> you can't. You can go pretty far, but you can't go off. Remember Super Monkey Ball when we go off the side? Oh yeah, yeah. That, those are crazy games. Would you want to be in this car? In real life, or would you be no. too scared? Yeah, would this, would this, this would be terrifying, I think. Yeah. It'd make a good ride, though. I guess most video games would be terrifying to be in if like, you had to... If it were possible to be go into a video game. Yeah. I hear that question sometimes, like, what video game would you like to... Oh, be in? Would you like to, like, would you actually be in? And it's oh. like, I, you have to give that some serious consideration. Yeah, because yeah. There, you know, like, people be like, oh, well, you'd want to be in Zelda. I don't think I'd want to be in Zelda at all. There's like monsters and yeah, like, yeah, know. you know? I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, there's like a, a giant evil pig trying to take over the world. Yeah. Imagine if that was real, like, if there was a giant evil pig taking over the world, like, I'll pick something else. Imagine being in Beat'em and Eat'em. Well. <laughs> Would you be the Beat'em or the Eat'em? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you immediately went went through those games. Yeah, I was trying to think of, like the most ridiculous. Yeah. Game you Shit. I think you did it. Yeah. So now it like warps until you get to the tunnel. So this will be the red tunnel. So I think this is like level two. In in whatever weirdness this is. Traveling through the tunnel. Tube hole. It's the turbo tunnel, James. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, the green. This, this is like. Holy oh, shit! Oh, 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 dude, 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 watch out! Uh, don't worry, dude comes naturally. I didn't know you'd do that! 
Ho you turned into it like a fucking Megatron in the movie. This might be the most entertaining game to watch yeah. that I've ever Ooh, uh, seen. Like I yeah. like watching people play Grand Theft Auto, but this is like I can't yeah. even I can't even look away. Well, this is amazing. Oblivious never existed. It sure exists now. Yeah, now this is like everything that Holy you ever shit! Thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know how you get more shields. Oh god. Wow, that, that wow. Shield, no. I don't know. It would say up top because right now it says shields gone. Admirable. Deflector. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Oh! Wow, this is crazy. That was nuts. I absolutely love the visual style of yeah. this. It's awesome. This is great. Yeah. Um, I think uh, two, two thumbs up, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. try this out. If you guys got a uh, PS4, download this one. It's insane. Yeah, very addicting. Yeah, but uh, I would say, you know, if you have any, uh, like... If you have motion sickness or anything yeah, like that, maybe this put that in the beginning of the video too. It's this like, game isn't giving it, it to me, but no, but but it can. It I, I can imagine it can if you're um you know um like uh if if if, if you're bothered at all by like flashing or you know yeah. strobing effects. Oh um, my god, look, this looks like the sensor tunnel that used to be in uh, Epcot Center. I keep talking about Epcot; it's on oh, my mind. Yeah. But wow, actually, Michael Jackson did a photo shoot. Um, in, a, in a tunnel that looked mm -hmm. like this one time. I'll have to send you a picture. Wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now it looks, you know, now it looks like uh, the Cheshire Cat's tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's see what else wow. we, we could. <laughs> All right, anyway. Wow. This is this is cool. like, yeah. Even on the game over screen, you can't stop looking at it. I just kind of, yeah, I just like want to kind of sit here and just like, not, you see, it's like, like playing the, the it's like playing the world's best screensaver. Oh, this would be an awesome screensaver. Just have they should release this out as a screensaver. If you was a, your screensaver, you wouldn't be able to stop staring at it. <laughs> you would just set your computer to screensaver instead of getting any work done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, forget flying toasters, Polybius. Mm -hmm. 